Hello everyone, no response here, hope you're doing well. So I'm back again in the creation kit, and in this video I want to tell you two short, simple things uh, which are relevant to the mod I'm currently making uh, for updating my Sanctuary Player Home, but also on the mods I'm currently working on, which is actually how to add items to the construction list so you can scrap them. Um, and also to link items together. It's very important if you're putting life sources up, but you want uh, objects to disappear when you scrap a certain item. So it's it's quite it's quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I've actually already updated the mod, um, except I had um, quite simply put recorded it and the footage got corrupted because OBS is weird and I'm still getting used to it, so I've actually decided to just record the whole thing again, which is why I've put this random lights in here, so I can just show you the process and I can just go into the game and kind of show you exactly uh, with, the, with the stuff I already added in my last update, how it works. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to add, an, add a mod to the, cons uh, the construction list so I can scrap it. So I'm just going to pick something I know is unscrappable. So let's pick... Uh, this paint pot here. Uh, the reason why I've I have done that is because my candles and my construction light, the one over there, um, that one, I had to actually make scrappable before you could take the lights off. But obviously I've already done that, so let's just randomly pick a paint pot so I can show the process. It's very important for me to show you this because. I think a lot of you have been asking me to make things scrappable, and I kind of want to show you why it, I do want to do that eventually, but it's quite a, an involved process. It takes ages, basically. Uh, so first you need to double-click your item and get the name. Now I've actually fortunately already named this as a unique version, so this is my NR Tool Paint Bucket Blue. Um, however, normally what I would do is, and I'm actually going to do it this instance, is I can make a second version of it. So say this was just, you know, the, the normal paint bucket blue. Um, I would do NR underscore tool paint bucket blue. Just so I can make, kind of make my own version of it. Hit OK. Yeah, new form. So now I've made my own version of it. I do this with more or less any item I want to edit anyway. Just in case I mess up. It's more just a, a security on my end. And that way I don't, you know, my mods don't fuck up your saves in any way, shape or form. Well, as much as they... Much as mods just generally do that anyway. Uh, so basically, for next, um, I need to. It's useful to have that open. Uh, so next, I need to go to the object window and go to formless, which is in miscellaneous formless, and you'll just get this whole list of forms. Funnily enough, now right click anywhere. It doesn't matter as long as you. I've got that one selected, but I'm not actually selecting it. And I hit new, and it comes up with form list ID and yada yada yada. So what I need to do is to get a name. So I'm going to call it. NR underscore scrap underscore and I copy paste the name. That's very important because later on I'll be able to use just copy pasting the name to find all associated forms with it. I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't need it. Um, and then I'm going to go up here. You need to clear. Just go up to the. I just click on actors because that just goes up to the top level. Copy paste the name. And that brings up the item in the list. The reason why I need to do that is I need to left click and drag it over to here like this. And that way it just goes uh, static object, and that's the full name. And that's that. Um, clear your filter again. Um, and now you need to go to items and then constructible object. And these blue ones here, same as well as the form. Hit new. It is actually useful. I keep redoing this over and over and over again because you know it makes the life a lot easier. So you'll get this screen here, and I give it a new name. Um, let me do NRCO, so constructible object. Draw again, so same thing. Now I need to find, and it's always very important, so I need to find the created object now, but don't be uh, confused. It wants the created object form, not the actual object. So it doesn't want NR underscore tool paint bucket blue, it wants NR underscore scrap paint bucket blue. Um, I got so confused that I think I lost about half an hour of my time on the weekend, or maybe it's about an hour, because I kept thinking that my game had, like, my mod was broken and wasn't saving. It's really, really stupid. Now, I can actually give it components if I want, but I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you briefly, mainly because I, I can't be bothered to make things, you know, arbitrarily, you know, how much am I going to make it, yada, 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 but if you just want to see some, just click on any random item. Uh, it's you give them like required item lift so you can kind of that's for if you want it to appear so the the editor id is if you want it i believe 
um, where, where you want it to appear in the workshop, I think, but with a required item, item list, so you basically just com components. So if I wanted to new, um, I do C ooh, underscore, and that way I can give it any item I want. I can do the count. So when you scrap the bed, you get five cloth and four steel. It's really, really simple, but I'm just not doing it because uh, then I have to kind of, you know, with every single item, figure out how much I want it to be worth. Right, and now that object, so if I copy in here, whoop. So now that's basically the entire process you go for making an item scrappable. And you have to do that with everything. Now, eventually I probably will potentially do it for most things in this because like, I just want to give you the option of like, being able to scrap stuff, it'll just take me a, a bloody long time and I keep putting it off. But yeah, effectively, that's how you do it. I'll at least, at the very least with this mod, make it so you can scrap kind of key bits. So that way, for example, you can take a few cabinets down uh, efficiently and that way you can put, you know, creation kit items or whatever. So right next, um, so again, originally in my old video, I had it so I demonstrated that on the construction light and then set the lighting up. However, life just doesn't want to doesn't want to do that for me. Uh, so basically, I put my little, uh, my lovely assistant here, Miss Lanton. Um, I'll hit M. And the problem with Miss Lanton right here is she gives off some quite lovely light. Yes, it's a woman lantern, as you know. Curves like that, it wouldn't be a bloke. Um, and, oh, fuck's sake, David. It's hot and I can't think straight. Um, and basically, it gives off three light. Now, obviously, that looks good, and I can set up the lighting, you know, so it's all nice, and it's like, you know, kind of got a nice glow to it. The problem is, currently, if I scrap that, because that is scrappable, it, lighting won't go away. Now, what you need to do, it's so simple. And the way I figured this out is uh, by looking at the other items. So basically, I need to double select the item I want to link. Uh, so in this case, I'm selecting the default light, that one. And I'm going to go to linked ref here, double click there, and I'm select reference in render window, like this. And it's going to go oil lamp, so it's now selected that rev lamp. You can actually like find the name of it and like hunt it down, but it's just way quicker. And also more importantly, you get the correct cell as well. So sometimes, for example, Sanctuary has quite a few cells, so you might not be to sell it. If you go a bit further, you know, kind of like east to where I am right now, you're in Sanctuary O, um, Sanctuary 1, things like that. So it's just, it's easier. And all you need to do is do uh, work, wait, I was about workshop, oh, no, I haven't. Workshop S, just like workshops, basically the first thing. And it's workshop stacked item parent keyword. And you hit okay, okay, okay. And you see that blue line? It's quite hard to see, but ba oh, there we go, it's better. Um, and that means now that is now linked to that. And I'll just show you one more time. I'm actually not gonna save this, by the way, but I'm still gonna go into it, um, just cause it's, you know, uh, need to actually not move the object window, uh, because I'm just gonna demonstrate with the with the ones I've already done. And voila, and then work, shop, script, um, stacked parent keyword, voila, and there you go. So basically, I'll, I'll do it with this one as well. Well, just to remind you all the time. It's really simple. Don't forget linked ref, select object. You can't this you can actually do pretty damn quickly to be fair. Script parent keyword. Right, now that's all linked to that. So when I now remove that lantern, it'll remove the lighting. Now that's how it is, and I've I've tested it and it works, and I will show you in a second in game. Incidentally. I've been testing it with using other objects in the game. For, for example, I was going to do it so you could scrap this and it would remove, as you can see, it was linked to these boxes. But for some weird reason, I think maybe because these boxes are scrappable, it wasn't working because I think they're on their own separate little thing. Uh, so basically, it was really simple with lighting and linking lights to light sources. But for whatever reason, I, I haven't got it working on objects, right? I think it might just be I, I probably just didn't select the correct ref because I'm thinking of what of doing is making it so you can delete these counters, say, or like certain main objects and it del deletes clumps of things. It'll save me having to do the... Uh, do all the forms. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to save, but I'll go in um, and actually show you uh, exactly how this works in game. And you can see. Give me two seconds. Hello, hello. Right, so we're back in Sanctuary proper. 
Sanctuary real life. Sanctuary other stock phrase. And what I'm doing is I'll just show you how it works. So basically, fairly, 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 fairly. And as obviously I haven't saved because, you know, we don't want like, random lights there. Which means actually my bucket isn't scrappable. However, what that means is when I've now scrapped all my stuff, boop, all the lighting gets removed. Now, this little update is already live on all platforms, which is grand. And the reason why I wanted to do this is so that way I can light up this settlement and also other settlements with my own light lighting choices. But also, you have the option to remove it if you like. So that way, if you don't like my lighting options, because you're, you're, you're a twat, um, you can scrap it. It's really weird. See, because notice like the candle right there. That worked fine. But when I link these ones, it doesn't remove those boxes. And I don't know why. Hmm. I think I might have just set the references up incorrectly. That's what I think I might have done. I think I might have accidentally like selected the wrong item in the ref. That's what I'm almost certain. Because it works fine with the candle. Um, where's the last light? So bump, 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 bump. There we go. Um, I might actually make these um, draw a little bit of light potentially, but I'm very conscious of obviously making things laggy. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's it. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is eventually, well, I'm probably a bit early frank when it's cooled down a little bit because I can focus a bit more. Um, I, I have like really bad hay fever alongside being an ex-smoker. So like this is like utter torture for me right now. I even took a day off work yesterday just because I couldn't focus at all. Um, I just spent the entire day being grumpy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do more updates um, on this, by the way. Again, so I still have the plan uh, next on this now that I fixed the lights. You can even scrap that one as well. I just can't be asked to open the menu. But I'm pretty sure, actually, I've forgotten to add one of the light cones on, but I don't, don't hold that to me. Uh, so what I do want to do is make it so... Uh, next, as I said, I do want this to be a, a workstation. I do want that to be a working terminal. And... Probably some other stuff as well. So I just kind of want to add to this mod, but now I've kind of learned how to fix a load of bugs. Um, it'll be it'll be quite grand. And then going forward, now that I figured out the light sources thing, uh, you're going to find that most of my settlements now will actually have their own lighting set up. I'll try and keep them law friendly, so I you know ideally I won't give you electricity unless it's something that I think makes sense. Like for example, at Red Rocket, uh, or maybe like I'd ideally rather light them to have you know be like lantern something that you could you know just ideally find find around uh, but then obviously i'll make it so you can kind of scrap them if you want so yes um, i'll have a new video up soon i said my kind of hay fever cold thing is, is a bit less crappy right now so hopefully i should be able to manage uh, the weekend was hell uh, but until that point you guys enjoy the rest of your week i think um i don't know if i have a build or maybe i might just actually spend the next couple of days doing a a full mod and then do kind of a mod unveiling because I've got like you know for example uh, a couple of actually bigger projects that I kind of want to show off so I've been kind of working on them basically I've alternated between you know using the creation kit and playing loads of Stellaris again it's great fun but until that point anyway you guys enjoy the rest of your week if you like the heat good for you if you don't like the heat don't worry hopefully we'll get nuclear winter soon and yeah you guys enjoy the rest of your week take care